Your eyes are not deceiving you. It's that time. It's time for the 2024 Texas Longhorn Football Preview and Prediction. Are you guys ready? Let's get into it. Starting on the offensive side of the ball, everything runs through returning quarterback Quinn Ewers. He's returning for a third season under Coach Sark and at Texas, and I expect nothing less than a Heisman caliber season. Bama transfer Isaiah Bond looks to lead a new look wide receiver room this year. C.J. Baxter looks to lead that backfield, and I expect Texas's offense to be potent again this year. They were last year. I know they lost some key pieces, but I just think they're going to be good again. Now, like every year and with every elite defensive unit, you lose some to the NFL. You, you may lose some to the portal, but Texas was elite last year, and I expect a lot from Anthony Hill Jr. this year. This young man right above me was a freshman All-American last year, and I expect him to pick up where he left off. Because of the job Sarkeesian has done in the portal and through talent acquisition in general, I expect this defense to be good again. Maybe not quite as elite, but good enough. Are you guys ready for the schedule breakdown? Let's get into it. I'll be honest, for the SEC, the schedule's not too bad. Um, kind of favorable. A lot of the harder games are at home for Texas. Let's jump straight into it. Game one has Colorado State coming to Texas to take on the Longhorns. Not too much to talk about here. The Longhorns roll. I think Arch Manning is going to come in late throw his first collegiate touchdown. 1-0 for the Horns. Interesting matchup next. The Horns travel to Michigan to take on the Jim Harbaugh-less Michigan Wolverines. We almost saw this game for the national championship last year. Both teams lost some. I think Michigan lost a lot more, though, um, especially with the coaching situation. Give me Texas going to Michigan early in week two and taking down the Wolverines. Texas starts 2-0. Next, UTSA, the Roadrunners, come to Austin. I think UTSA is going to be pretty good this year. I think their win-loss total was like 8.5 like in Vegas. But um, coming off an emotional win at, at Michigan, Texas struggles early in the first half, but they pull away in the second half, and they start off 3-0. Next is UL Monroe heading to Austin to take on the Longhorns. Not much to say here. Texas continues to roll and they're 4-0. Jeff Levy takes his uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs to Austin to take on the Longhorns. Sark is too much here. Um, they're too talented. They're just going to win this game. They're not going to lose to Mississippi State at home. 5-0. Next in Dallas is the Red River Rivalry. This is one of the biggest rivalries in college football, and this year will be no exception. I expect this to be a very close game. But I think Quinn Ewers, Steve Sarkeesian, and company get their revenge on Oklahoma and avenge that loss from last year. Texas starts strong and is 6-0. The next game, this could be game of the year, guys. Georgia takes on Texas in Austin. This crowd's going to be crazy. I expect Georgia to travel pretty well, though. You have two Heisman hopefuls at quarterback with Carson Beck and Quinn Ewers. I think this is going to be a nail-biter. But I like Texas at home. I could easily see Georgia winning, too, but I'll take Texas for now. After one of the most physical games of the year, Texas is going to go on the road and travel to Nashville to take on the Commodores. I can see this game being close for a half. Maybe Texas comes out sleepwalking after an emotional win over Georgia, but ultimately they're just a better team than Vanderbilt, and they're not going to lose to them. Texas is 8-0. Next, my Florida Gators and Coach Billy Napier travel to Austin to take on the Longhorns. Not a whole lot for me to say here. I think Billy Napier and his staff are over, going to be overwhelmed in this game. I think Sark's going to dial up a, a great scheme, and I have Texas winning pretty easily. Texas is now 9-0. Next, Sarkeesian and the Longhorns travel to Fayetteville to take on Sam Pittman and the Arkansas Razorbacks. At this point in the year, Arkansas may be searching for a new head coach. I don't even know if Sam Pittman will be there. What I do know is Arkansas is outmatched, and Texas wins this game running away. Texas is now 10-0. The next week, Coach Mike Stoops takes his Kentucky Wildcats to Austin to take on the Longhorns. I think Texas is the better team. Texas probably has the better coach. But the better team and the best coach does not always win. I have the Wildcats catching Texas, looking ahead to A&M and renewing that rivalry. And they catch them sleeping. And Brock Vandergriff and Mike Stoops beat Texas at Texas. Of course, I can go on and on and pick all the favorites in all these games, but every once in a while, you got to live a little bit. Pick an upset. Kentucky wins, and Texas falls to 10-1. Next, we renew that rivalry between Texas A&M and Texas. Sark and Mike Elko are going to go head-to-head, -head, and I just think Sark's too much for him. I think there's too, much ta there's too big of a talent gap, but give Mike Elko time, and this rivalry may be one of the best in the country before it's all said and done. Texas wins and finishes the season 11-1. 
They make the playoff, and I'll predict later what I have in the SEC Championship once I go through all these schedules. Let me know how I did in the comments and who you want to see next.